I was browsing about YouTube the other day, and I came across a video that was made by Infinity Ward, the makers of Infinite Warfare. This video is called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, IW Intel Vehicles and Weapons. It features three people from Infinity Ward, Dan Savage and Sean Byers, who are lead artists for different things in the game, weapons, vehicles, and Brian Horton in the middle, the art director. Again, I'll say this again, art director, lead artist, lead artist. These are artists. They make the things that you look at in the game. They're the artists of the game. Dan Savage on the left goes and he answers questions. Now, where he gets these questions, I don't know. But he was going through all these questions, and as he was doing that, I kind of was, oh, they're yeah, softball questions, okay, okay, whatever. But then he actually surprised me when he whipped a card out of his asshole, and the card said... Next question. How is it possible that you got this one so wrong with the fans? Where was your intel supporting this direction? And now he's going to answer it. And I want you to look at his face. And I want you to notice how he talks. I just want you to pay attention to him while he gives his answer. This is a fantastic question. We have an extremely passionate fan base in the Call of Duty family. And we listen to every single opinion and thought you guys have about the game that we all know and love. But ultimately, this game, Infinite Warfare, has been in the making for three years. The team feels extremely passionate about bringing a new, innovative style to the franchise while retaining the DNA and components that you love about Call of Duty. All I can tell you is we've just shown you a sneak peek of things that are in the game, from a reveal trailer to E3. And in the future, you're going to see a lot more that is going to give you a better idea of what this game is all about. And we're confident that once you see more, you're going to be very excited about that direction. But thank you so much for the support over the years, and we know that in the future, you're going to be excited to play Infinite Warfare. Hope that answers your question. This man is heartbroken. This man is borderline confused. I don't think this guy knows what to think. I don't think that Dan Savage expected this. I think this took I think this all took him off guard. As I watch him talk, as I watch his eyes, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm no Cal Lightman. But this just to me, mixed with the things he says, seems to be a guy who wants to just ask us what what did you want from what do you want from us? I think all three of these guys sitting down here were just in shock and awe at the reception of the trailer. I mean, they knew there would always be those Call of Duty haters every single year who would hate the game no matter what. But just the amount of hate that they got, just for the reveal of the concept, right? Not even, there's no gameplay in that opening trailer. There was nothing like that. All we knew is that there would be space, and to me, it actually looked kind of neat. The rest of this interview, all the other questions, they detail a game that I think could potentially be really good. I think Infant Warfare could be a really good game for Call of Duty. But I think that a lot of people have become blinded, almost in a way, of the setting. And they think that these guys sitting here are a bunch of evil space Nazis who just want to ruin their game who bow to their corporate overlords and don't care. But let me ask you, let me ask you this, okay? Let's take Activision, the publisher. All they give a shit about is money, all right? They're, they're the corporation that makes the game. They care about the bottom line. That's, that's their corporation, that's what they do, right? They, they money, they're, they're, they're paying the bills, they're keeping the lights on. Activision couldn't give a shit whether or not their game was loved or hated, as long as it made money, and lots of it. But these three guys sitting in these chairs, they are not Activision. These guys are not publishers. These are guys who are paid to create what is, in essence, a work of art. A video game is a work of art. It is an interactive form of media. And these three, especially as lead artists and art director, are extremely involved in the creative process of the game. Now, I'm not much of an artist myself, but I know that when I was in school or whenever I found a little project to do and I was drawing it out or when I was doing this, that, or the other thing and I was creating something in much the same way that I create these videos, even if it was something that took me 10, 20 seconds to do or 10 minutes to do, it was something that I was invested in. It was something that I cared about. The things that I created with my own hands, it, it's something that I, I cared about. And if people tried to mess with it, like physically mess with it, or treat it with disrespect, then I felt really, I, it, it really, really got me upset. Because I had created something and they had not. I was upset that they, 
showed such immense disdain and apathy and sometimes outright disrespect or just uncaring towards something that I cared about, something that I had made with my own hands. I never for once considered my works above criticism, just like I don't consider these videos above criticism, just like I don't consider infinite warfare above legitimate criticism. So you have this guy who's an artist for vehicles, right? And he has spent, remember, three years of his life on a project where his responsibility is to be the lead artist for the vehicles in the game, which seem like they're going to have a bigger part of this game than Call of Duty's in the past. Vehicles are going to be a huge part of Infinite Warfare, and he is the guy responsible for doing all of that. And art is not something that's easy. Art is not something that you can just do. Even people who are very talented have to pour blood, sweat, and tears into projects to have them come out in a satisfactory manner. And when you create something as an artist and you look at its finished product, you feel very proud of it. It's something that you have created. You made a thing. Look at his hands. It's almost like he's pleading you to try and understand. It's almost like he's pleading with all the players of this game to give this game a chance. From his perspective, he knows it's not my fault. It's not my fault that three years ago we were given the decision that this is what we were going to do, and then it was my job from there to be in charge of vehicles, like it was in charge of this guy to be in charge of guns, and the art director sitting in the middle, he was kind of over everything, supervising it all, making sure it all was cohesive and it came together. All that work, all that blood, all that sweat, all those tears. To have the trailer for his game, just the trailer, get absolutely shat on. From what we know about Infinite Warfare, there could be legitimate criticisms about the game. And once the multiplayer trailer comes out, even more criticisms could possibly be made afterwards. And remember, I am definitely by no stretch of the imagination a Call of Duty fanboy. I barely play Call of Duty games. I haven't touched the last one I bought, Advanced Warfare, in many months. And I have no interest in going back to it. I got my fun. I'm not defending these guys, if you can call it defending. I'm not defending these guys because it's Infinity Ward employees, because it's Call of Duty. I'm saying that when I watched this part of the interview, it kind of just struck a nerve in me where I could relate to this guy in some sort of way. And then after that, I got to thinking, well, gosh, I'm glad I didn't just heap on the bandwagon and dislike that trailer. I, to this day, I haven't rated it. The setting doesn't honestly bug me. A, a good game, if it's in the past or the future or the present, is a good game. After I look at the likes to dislikes on this video, when I watched this video, I thought to myself, I don't understand how you could dislike what was in the video. I'm not saying people who did it were trolling or they were bigots against this or that or they just were haters. I mean, maybe some people honestly didn't like what was said, but to me, I didn't find anything in this video that was really bad news. They talked about weapon designs, and they talked about balance, and they talked about how the campaign would be vastly different than other ones because you had optional missions you could go to because you were the captain of this starship. Everything I heard sounded pretty darn good to me, and it sounded fresh and new, and that is something that I think Call of Duty needs desperately. A breath of fresh air. New life. This video has 1,757 likes, 1,133 dislikes. I feel as if a lot of people are just going through all these videos about Infinite Warfare and the stuff that Infinity Ward is bringing out and just disliking it because they don't like the concept of Infinite Warfare. Maybe they think that if they just dislike things enough, the setting will change. I'm not, and you should dislike things you don't like, obviously. And if you're displeased with something in the game, then absolutely I mean to show it. But I think it's pretty obvious to everyone at this point. That gamers do not want to fly around in space, and they don't want futuristic-based Call of Duties. But the three guys in this video, Dan Savage, Brian Horton, and Sean Byers, that was not their call to make. It is not their fault. They are dealing the cards that were dealt to them. They are working with the stuff that they were told to work with, and they are doing it to the best of their abilities, and they have absolutely no creative power over the fact that you're going to be flying around in space, and it's taking place in the future, and you go to different planets. Remember that these are artists. They draw the vehicles and the guns, and they model the this, that, and the other things. They do the models. They're artists. They're not publishers. They're not CEOs. 
They are here to explain different concepts about the game to you, to give you more information. And he says himself, he's sure that once you actually see more, you'll like it. Because remember, at this point, we haven't seen multiplayer yet. There's a whole lot of stuff we haven't seen. He's like, he's pleading with you. Please wait until you see more to give us our judgment. I worked for three years on this one project. I can't imagine what that's like to put three years of my life into a single project. And I bet most people here probably don't know what that's like either. And for those of you who do, maybe you can relate to them better than I can. This isn't a video that I had planned to do by any stretch of the imagination. It sort of just was a spur-of-the-moment video that I decided to make. I didn't put much thought into it, and I don't have any bullet points. I, I never do scripts anyway, but I never really thought about my thoughts. I just sort of did it. I'm not saying that Infinite Warfare shouldn't be criticized, and I'm not saying that if you disliked what you've disliked so far that your disliking of it is illegitimate. I'm not saying that by any stretch of the imagination. What I'm saying is, really, just maybe think about holding off if you're on the fence about something. Maybe holding off until you have all the information or until you actually see gameplay or until you actually see stuff of substance before you decide to give a vastly negative attitude towards something. I don't like Activision as much as every sane person does. I don't. Activision can suck my cock. But these three guys, well, I mean, <laughs> but these three guys here, remember they made this decision three years ago, okay? They made this decision three years ago because three years ago, this is what they felt people wanted, okay? This is what they thought would get them money because they thought people would buy the games because they thought people wanted this and again he almost pleadingly says well you you want us to keep things fresh you wanted us to say add this new thing add this new thing do something that will make the game play different and feel different and be different and we gave it to you and you shat on us for it i feel that's like i feel that's like what i feel that's what he wants to say but he knows obviously he can't do that because he has an image that he has to keep up for the company. I feel like he wants to clench his fists and say, couldn't you at least give us a fucking chance? But ultimately this game, Infinite Warfare, has been in the making for three years. The team feels extremely passionate about bringing a new innovative style to the franchise while retaining the DNA and components that you love about Call of Duty. All I can tell you is we've just shown you a sneak peek of things that are in the game, from a reveal trailer to E3. And in the future, you're going to see a lot more that is going to give you a better idea of what this game is all about. And we're confident that once you see more, you're going to be very excited about that direction. But thank you so much for the support over the years, and we know that in the future, you're going to be excited to play Infinite Warfare. Hope that answers your question.